All right, guys, we are back from the break, and now we want to talk about your tour, bro, Danielo tour. Sheesh. A lot of people are mad. A lot of people are upset. The people who are upset are the people who didn't get a tour I'm date mad. in their city. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're, like, in Kentucky or something, you know. Sorry. <laughs> you're in Kentucky. <laughs> but, but, yeah, bro, uh, like, in, you're, in the, even in their own city, they couldn't get tickets. Yeah, like, your tour sold out. The pre-sale, you said it was, like, 90%, right? Like, 90% sold out. Yeah. Sheesh. And, like, how do you feel that, like? It's sold out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it for sure wasn't how quick I thought it was going to sell out. And I know everybody's asking why we chose small venues. Well, it was because um, our agency, you know, they recommended that for us for my first tour. And, you know, I just, we took the recommendation. They told us that it was a good idea, a great idea for my first tour. And, yeah, that's why it was super small venues. I think since it's small, it's definitely building a lot of hype because there is a part two, right? For sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's going to be a part two with more cities, you know. Bigger venues. Bigger venues for sure. And, um, yeah, so in a way it worked out because, you know, now there's hype for the second tour. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And this first tour is already sold out, so. We didn't get tickets, bro. <laughs> yeah, we I don't have that. tickets, bro. You want to hear a sad story? We didn't get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we didn't get tickets, bro. <laughs> I just kidding. Like, not I, even one, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. I kid you not, I myself don't have any, like, spare tickets. Why does not say you don't have a ticket for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. I can't show up. I can't show up. No, I thought good, bro, but we'll definitely be ready. Next tour, for time, sure. Next tour. Even, like, the website crashed. If you guys didn't know the website. Yeah, the website was crashing because there were so many people on the website. <laughs> And bro, yeah, the amount of TikToks I saw of people yeah. like that were sad. Some were like the happiest person in the world. The other ones were just sad. I literally told myself I was like, I hope it sells out within the first month, and it sold out the first three days. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And how do you prepare yourself for a tour? You know, you know this being your first tour. Yes. Well, you know for sure, practicing with my cousin and our guitar player and. Just making sure that we give my fans a show, you know? Mm-hmm. I have a question. So, you know how, like, in the Deluxe album, you brought this different sound with, like, the new producer? Oh, yeah. Are you going to, like, have those sounds at the tour? That's a good question. Right That's a good question. Um, I feel like we're still deciding. We're still deciding right now to... Because, obviously, if, if we do the 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 new sound it's gonna be performance wise is gonna be a lot different everything's gonna be a lot different more people and i think for this first tour we're gonna do a very acoustic and raw mm. like <clears throat> natural sounding like traditional serenity. yeah tra- traditional for sure so sticking to the sound of the of mm-hmm. the songs because yeah. um we, we've noticed that sometimes when they go to places um they add instruments they say, you know, it's kind of to fill the place, you know, like more sound. The sound, yeah, the energy and just more people. Uh-huh. But I think people are expecting that. Exactly like how they've heard it a thousand yeah. times in the oh, room. I know. <clears throat> the good thing is that the songs, in a way, they still feel so raw. Like, they still feel so... Raw. 